milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Help me buy milk. Okay. Write down your name. Chris is my name. Is there any audio? Oh, here it comes. I'm on my way to the store, rehearsing the speech. I haven't been out for so long that I've forgotten what words they say when they enter the store. Yeah, last year the flashlight was a ring light. It is the ring light we use uh, on stream literally every time I go live. I will say that that has definitely been the flashlight I've used the most. I'm on my way to the store. Who are you talking to? I imagine being a game character. What if it helps to gather my thoughts? What game? Well, you know. There are games in which you can see characters' thoughts. Right on the screen, you know? So I thought, if someone reads my thoughts, then I have to be really concentrated so as not to whip up the extra. <laughs> I'm deeply breathing in. Hello, can I? Damn, I forgot. 19th attempt, and I'm failing again. I bite my lips with annoyance. So, once again. Hello. Can I get... Wow. A whole word more. Thank you. I'm trying really hard. In my opinion, this time, the O sound was longer than usual. Do you think this is it? Who knows? Hello? Can I? Ugh. I better keep my lips sealed. Uh, ha ha ha, loser? Don't, no. Don't, don't worry. Okay. By the way, You've been walking with your left foot on asphalt and your right foot on grass for a whole minute. What? My right leg froze in the air. Ha. How, how much? 50 steps on asphalt and 51 on grass. You'll have to cancel the previous step. <laughs> how, how do you imagine it? This is not the first time. You're so stupid. You were taught how to do it. Come on. I... I don't remember. I'm gonna burst into tears. Ugh. From the beginning. So. Step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly into your own trail. Wait. Wait. How is it step one? What then? So, it's already the 52nd. But wait, if I'm going backwards, then 50th. It still doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, okay. Step 50th. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your trail. Could you paraphrase it at least a little? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so you will be very, very guilty if you do not buy milk. I'm sorry if your viewer count takes a dive during this. I am not worried about that. <laughs> Damn, really? So, are you ready? Yes, yes. I gently changed the position of the leg. 
peering carefully into the thick grass. When I entered the store, I asked the very first person I met. Hello, can I... Oh. I excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh. You better not do it. Or you're, you'd better not to do it. Okay, I think it's just mistranslated. You better not do it. He's clearly not going to change his lines. You run the risk of falling into an endless loop. Too soon since death loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh, what? Oh, what is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me. But how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter? Oh, what is so terrible about it? I have a frightening image as soon as I imagine it. I can Something like that. So I'll just keep on ignoring his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. I gather all the will into a fist. Oh? Oh? My interocular shook and crawled. You just repeated after him. And it worked. Do it more often. Wait. I said that he crawled, but did he really crawl? Because I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Yeah, just now. Personally, I did not hear. You're just trying to distract me. But I know what my words I know that my words were shown on the screen. I'm standing by the shelves. On the shelves, there are bags of milk. The two of us are standing, and milk... lies? Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you came? To buy milk. So buy. Right here? How, in your opinion, should I reply? Hmm. I suppose something like, not here, not here. Take the bag and go to the cash desk. You're getting on my nerves, not here. Take the bag and go to the cash desk. I guess the first sentence. And you like for, and, and you like for spite, like for spite didn't make a pause before the second one. Oh, I missed that last bit, poop. I sigh and pull my hand to take milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. Reception! Reception! 15 minutes before store closing, hurry up! I remember what these games are called, visual novels. Oh, by the way, the numbers are written there in full, in letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But authors are not lazy there, and you don't be lazy too. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your language. <laughs> Ahem. Anyway. You heard me. Hurry up, or there'll be no good at home. Already running. Hello. C can I get milk, please? You have it. Ah, give. I put out a weighty bag at the pay desk. Of course, not just a bag but milk too. Hello, can I g 
get it back, please? No. Please? No. But please? Mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you. You're a pathetic pay for milk. Oh no, pay for milk. <laughs> really? What would I do without you? I pull a crumpled cash out of my pocket and give it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. About two days have passed before he nodded satisfactorily and put a cash in the machine. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm walking down a familiar street, past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly pulls away my hand, reminding me of the times I took physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the pain machine, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk inside another bag. Don't get me wrong, I just like the pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thanks for your interest. I feel like a mile of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> As if I tell you. But I'm really interested. Well, look, the ratio of water to milk in the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. I agree, it's not the tastiest ice cream, unless you want to drink more than to eat. So the way from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the way from the gas station to home is ice cream. For today's walk, my body will be in every part of this way. Simple maths. Okay. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt grains, petrol stains. I'm trying to keep my balance. And how do people move on something as uneven as, an ur as the urban plane? Neat, heel, sock. I count every meter of the way I've gone. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out! Uh-huh. I unconsciously take a sharp step aside. At the same moment, a huge bear sweeps past me with a wild ripple. Oh my god, do it. Should I? We have to. Hey, I'm walking here! I'm throwing a stumbling peek at the rapidly moving animal. Its red eyes, in turn, look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen. It was a truck. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their head? You might have died. Come on, are you saying someone will seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? You are sick, the world is cruel and dangerous. Uh, this sounds scarier somehow, but this sounds like I'm accusing her. The world is cruel and dangerous. I'm not in the world you're talking about. My path continues. If you think about it, the way from the store has one interesting property. In the most bizarre ways, it adjusts to me. When I hurry, all the traffic lights are servicefully extinguished. When I want to cry, a cloud appears and pours rain flows to hide my tears. Right now, I feel how the cloud is slowly gathering over my top. I'm sad. Are you sure all this is really happening? And how else? Have you ever been visited by the idea that all this is only in your head? The instruction did not say that at all. Apparently these pills don't work on me either. Pills have nothing to do with it. Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. 
I'm really, really grateful to you, but please, no more. You know what? What? Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading it right now. This can affect on your recovery in your own way. As you say, I squeeze my head with the hands and set a thought block. With the edge of my eye, I notice a small bench. Great place for clinched visual novel monologues. I'm getting closer, putting a noticeably heavy bag of milk nearby and raising my head to the sky. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I, I understand I'm going crazy. Drugs are working less and less effectively, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Cliched, I understand. No. Well... I'm not very surprised. I must be quite unlike an exemplary protagonist, right? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it, because now I need a lot of effort just to distinguish letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I wouldn't like to say my diagnosis. Let at least you be the one who sees me as I am. Even if I made you up, don't take it away from me, okay? Don't ask me about too much. How stupid is all this? From the very beginning, you followed me. Read my delusional thoughts, heard my stupid conversations. Maybe I seem crazy and weird to you. <laughs> What is it like to see the world with my eyes? Ever since... <laughs> something happened. I only see red everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I've been used to it for a long time. To be honest, I even forgot what other colors look like. Let it go. <laughs> Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all because I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think they're the ones who are scared. Can you imagine it? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Do you promise? I'm serious. Of course, you couldn't not to ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have raised this topic. So, you're really wondering what happened to me? I won't take time. What do you see? Are you sure? One way or another, this is my dad. Some of his parts, at least. We do have a very difficult family, but despite all the problems, I would never have thought Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. In general, he threw himself out of the window and died.
this is my last memory. Then, a long gap. Strange, very strange. Today's the first time I've been able to buy something from a store without a serious incident. Of course, the medicine helped me. However, I think it's more of your merit. I was thinking all the time, do not screw up in front of the reader, or, oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a character in a visual novel for the sake of going to the store today, but it has clearly borne fruit. Thank you. By the way, I think there are some frameworks in our communication. That's how I like it. <laughs> and yet, I'm so sad lately. I think more and more about what my life has become ever since dad. Well, you understand. Day after day is the same. I've tried so many pills that I can't feel difference between them anymore. As long as they keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> but you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. I want to tell you. It was very rude. Can I not say that? It was very rude of you. Oh, no. I will not press you. I just advise you, go home. I understand. Well, dear reader, let's go. I don't know why that was a question. I stop on my floor and hang by the railing, repeating this action every day like a ritual. I stopped being afraid of heights. A few minutes ago, the pills finally came to naught, so I'm just enjoying blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. They create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Did you bring milk? Hi, Mom. Did you bring milk? Yes, Mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mom. Go to bed. Yes, Mom. That was very intense. Can you, can you imagine putting yourself in a position where a trauma that you're still trying to unpack causes this much disruption in day-to-day -day life? Oof. This one's tough to stomach. Yes, actually. I mean, 
I'd like to think that I can put myself in that position, but I don't have anything that damaging. Sorry, I'm way behind on chat. I was I was in, I was reading. I guessed corpse there and they said I was right and the combo was a little different. Oh, you guessed corpse when she showed you the picture of her father? That's intense. Ooh, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Well, that's milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk, gang. Thanks for the fun. Thanks. I enjoyed that. Hang on. Let me get the lights on. I want to do a little recap on. Um, milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk is not a game, right? Like I kind of said that when we first started into play it. I don't know that. I've talked about it in the past. I think I think my uh, I think my write up on the backlog blog about walking simulators goes into it a little bit about like a traditional game has some some kind of game over condition. It has some kind of game fail state to it. And and visual novels often don't. They can. There are visual novels that have fail states. Um, but this one doesn't. This one is is more of a guided experience. But this is exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about how games are a medium that can do things and how you as a consumer perceive the story that can't be done in any other medium. At the end of the day, this is more or less uh, a short story or a short film, but it doesn't have the same impact. And, and in fact, that impact is magnified because of you being an active participant in it. Not even just the sections where you have free reign to type something to the protagonist, but even just the fact that like I have to click to advance it, all of that adds and heightens the mood of the story. This was unsettling as it felt very familiar and almost nostalgic. Trauma is a weird thing when presented differently from how you experienced it and find it in a different medium. Yeah, it seemed to depict a common feeling very well in an interesting way with great art and music. Yeah, I mean, I don't, common is tough, right? I, I, relatable, uh, relatable, I think is maybe the, the better des descriptive word there, right? Like, especially there's jokes, right? About millennials that don't want to interact with people on face-to-face -face terms. Like everyone wants to just order their meal from Grubhub and never have to interface with a person because there's like that awkward moment of talking to a stranger. Um, but as much as millennial culture has tried to like turn that into a meme, there are people that's extremely difficult for. And not just people who are like shy or introverted, like there are people who face-to-face -face communication is extremely difficult. There are people with psychological trauma or or de developmental deficiencies that have rendered that kind of an intimate physical connection uh and make no mistake like looking someone in the eyes is absolutely a physical connection even though you're not touching um renders it absolutely unable to process and so to take to take this protagonist and and kind of force her in i think her I don't know if it actually set a gender, um, but to force her into what is otherwise like a pretty routine thing for most people and to show it in the shape it did is very powerful. That segment early in it where she's walking and her in, in her like internal voice. Yo, what up, Betty? Her internal voice is like, hey, just so you know, your feet aren't walking on the same stuff. One of them is on pavement and the other one's on grass. And she like panics and then wants to know how to fix it. Oh, I have to rewind my steps. How can that be the first step? I've already taken 50 steps. You said I took 50 steps. That kind of like panic in that segment um, is very raw. That's a neat little experience. I Again, hard to try and classify that as a game. It is very much in my mind, more of an interactive experience, um, but it's potent. It, it, it hits different. That was pretty good. Good suggestion, Daddy D. And thank you for providing it. Felt very schismatic. Yeah, there's definitely like 
trying to parse what she was seeing versus what we were doing uh, was very, very interesting. So that's a clever little, that's a clever little thing. That's a, you said the milk outside a bag of milk. There's a sequel. You said that is not as good. That's a bummer. It was, that was an interesting little thing. Um, well, alrighty gang. I, you're not, you're not wrong about speaking of downers. It's not as well written. Um, that was definitely a downer, but at least it was like a potent downer. It was a, it was a, a poignant and artistic downer, which I'm here for, but that's going to wrap it up for tonight. This one benefited greatly by being concise. This one I definitely think is a, a great example of you can tell a very short story and have it be something very impactful. <laughs>